is Queen Nija, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to, to episode 8 of Carol on Tuesday, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, it's so weird to start with the opening break. Finally. Oh my god. How's the young dude? It just reminds me of all the small things. NBC, really? Really? Mm hmm. Y'all got ABC, uh, CBS, the CW, Fox, HBO. All the way down there. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. And you are? Oh, you must be a fan. Uh, no!
Poor Carol. <laughs> mm -hmm. It would have been better if it, instead of M MBC, it would have been ABC or something like ABC. Because <laughs> what, freaking American Idol owns the rights to ABC now? Yeah. I flipped that around. ABC owns the rights to American Idol now. I, I think the... Yeah, Shati is the pet. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> yeah, watch because I'm going to do some damn rocks. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, stop talking out of your ass. Mm -hmm. Damn. Oh, fuck. Yes.
Hello? Well, damn. The fuck being shot 12, <laughs> 12 fucking times. Shit. Excuse me. Dude, don't fuck up too, alright? I swear to God. Not really what I was expecting. Yeah. 
but <laughs> oh my god true Damn. Damn, makes me want to like, why couldn't the episode be like an hour long and we could have just gotten the whole competition done? But no. We gotta wait. <laughs> well, damn, girl. <sighs> Just her attitude. It's okay. Okay, I'm hella surprised that the dude who has like a whole bunch of followers, I'm thinking, nah, this dude can't sing. Who the fuck is his English freaking singer? I need to know. I, I mean, like, the good thing about the Carol and Tuesday Instagram page is that they also really post, like, who all does the, um, the singing for them. And that's really nice because it's like, God damn. I mean, we already know now that this song and the opening song is officially now on Spotify, iTunes. Um, I'm guessing also Amazon Music because I think it came out last night. I, I want to buy it today and I think I am because, ugh, so good. I can't. Mm -mm. But it was a good episode. I just hate the fact that, like, Angela, yes, you are a bitch and I do like you for that because I do like also sometimes the bitchy characters of shows. But, God damn, girl, like, I understand you don't like their song because they're doing it the old-fashioned way, which is sitting there writing without no damn AI because they can do it. They got the talent for that. Unlike, I'm saying, you, you went the AI route. I mean, that's something people who just sit there and just write it, that's fresh and new for them rather than using AI because that's what everyone is trying to do. And, I mean... I don't know. Don't know how to feel like that. I mean, we'll see how Angela's song goes next week. I am hoping it's going to be good because, of course, technically, if it's the um, the I Can Move Mountain song, we've already really seen, like, heard, like, a part of it. So we might get to hear the full song from the um, English singer, and I'm hoping it's going to be good. And I, I just feel like, in the end, it is going to be between... Carol on Tuesday and Angela and Angela ultimately is going to lose because every single time for the past seven weeks when we started this show we've always seen um both of them looking up and there's like confetti exploding everywhere and it's like yellowish and stuff and they're around an audience so it could still be this Mars um this competition where they possibly win now for Angela's dad to like say certain things, and then Gus saying ish, and it's like, oh, I heard Angela was gonna win. I'm like, shut your fucking mouth. God damn it, bitch. Like, oh, God. And see, because of the fact is we barely like, know about Angela's and her dad's relationship between each other, and I'm, like I said last week, I'm really hoping 
that they just do an episode that explains more about her backstory coming from a child actress to an adult actress and going from acting to singing. And typically, even in Hollywood today, like, if you look at any... I gotta go back to, like, when I was, like, teenager watching, like, fucking Disney Channel and Nickelodeon, how um, Nickelodeon and Disney Channel were always on, like, a fucking competition about, oh, if we had an actress and we find out they could sing, they immediately got a record deal and then they would probably last maybe like a couple of years with Disney and eventually they would leave on their own. They would maybe still be signed with Hollywood Records. I know a lot of people who were working in Disney Channel um, were signed to Hollywood Records. I don't know about uh, the Nickelodeon kids because I can't, I don't even know what like company Ariana Grande signed to. But um, like if I can give you a few people like Zendaya... Uh, I think Miley Cyrus was on Hollywood Records freaking, uh, oh my god, what was her fucking name? Lucy Hale, who was on Pretty Little Liars, she was, um, on Hollywood Records, Justin McCartney was on there, a whole bunch of people, but, like, with those two companies, as I said, like, every single time when they found out that they had a, mostly it was always female, it was never truly male, um, but any time when they had a female actor and they found out that female actor could also sing once upon a time there you go it's always that competition <laughs> between disney and nickelodeon oh you a singer okay get her a record deal and she lasts he or she lasts like two years or if their first album just really stinks they last like <laughs> months and then you know eventually they still do whatever show they're doing on either nickelodeon or disney channel and then eventually they get kicked to the curb and they have to kind of find their own thing after Disney because of course those kids gotta grow up freaking fast and everything but I mean it, it was a good as hell episode I, I wasn't expecting the opera rap in Latin hell no I wasn't expecting that the Fire Brothers was not expecting that um dude with a million followers like was really really good I'm sorry like he he impressed me I'm thinking like no like mm -mm. cause I remember I think it was like what last <sighs> Last week, I think before um, this episode came out, or a couple of days ago, I think I was on Instagram, and they kept showing his picture. No, 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 it was last week. It was last week, and they showed their picture because he officially came first introduced in last week's episode. But they didn't show, like, who his actor was for um, singing-wise. I think they just showed his Japanese voice actor, and I don't know what he, who they were. But I'm guessing now with this week's episode, they're going to show his English uh, singer and then, yeah, because, like, all these people in the show are so freaking talented and just, my God, it, so fucking good. I just, I need the album. And the fact that the first two songs are already out, it's just, I'm getting so excited just to buy the full damn album. How, like, I, I just wish that hopefully when this show is over, they, um, all the singers, like, they do a tour. Don't just do it in Japan. Like, come to America. Like, come to Florida. I would literally buy a damn ticket just to see these people in concert playing these songs, freaking having my cell phone out, doing this, crying my eyes out, and just feel like, my God, it's so good, just like in the freaking anime. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 8 of Carol and Tuesday. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially next Thursday for episode 9. Bye, guys!